I'm Michael Burson with Show Me Progress, and I'm speaking this afternoon with Holmes Osborne, a, the Democratic candidate in the 53rd Legislative District. Uh, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, I know you've been uh, really uh, talking a lot with voters going door to door. Could you tell us what you've been hearing from them? Uh, local issues are very big where we've been uh, campaigning. Uh, Odessa uh, has a very uh, strange on and off ramp. Getting, in, getting MoDOT to build a new on and off ramp for that area would uh, bring a lot of jobs and it, it just resonates very well with uh, constituents. Um, Concordia, Missouri, Highway 23 uh, goes through a low-lying swamp area that floods out in uh, heavy storms. Uh, that's another issue that's very popular on that side of the county. They need to elevate that road, uh, maybe make a bridge for probably about a mile and a half. Um, there's a habilitation center for the severely disabled in Higginsville. And at one point in time, they had several hundred uh, what they call clients, which are patients. And that's dwindled down to 60. And they really ought to uh, build this back up. It's a it's, um, very important government service. Uh, those are the three biggest issues in Lafayette County. Lexington had the lowest school levy in the county and they had to go to a four-day school week. Uh, we got behind the April uh, levy increase and it passed so they raised the levy a little bit to help pay for the schools there. Uh, but these are, these are the four biggest issues in Lafayette County. So education uh, obviously is very important to uh, voters in the district and obviously jobs. So you've been hearing a lot about that too and the, the impact of these kinds of services and, and infrastructure that, that affects the, the economy of that area. Yeah, the state, state issues. I, I like to stay in state issues, things that I can control in Jeff City. Um, unfortunately, nothing was done about um, much of anything in the last legislative session uh, from January to May. Um, a lot of talk about busts of Rush Limbaugh and things of that nature. Kansas City and St. Louis school districts are doing very poorly and nothing was done. Nothing good was done, nothing bad was done, nothing was done. Um, and we've got to keep up with the rest of the world. We're, we're not only competing against other states like Kansas and Illinois, but we're competing against other countries for jobs. And you can't just stay still. You have to <clears throat> move things forward in legislature and that did not happen in the year 2012. Now, as you've been talking with voters in the district, uh, have they sort of expressed any knowledge of what's going on in Jefferson City with the General Assembly? No, most people don't follow state issues. Uh, they even admit it. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll start to talk about federal issues. They follow federal issues a little bit, but I, you know, have to get them back off on, on message, which is state issues. And I love to talk about state issues. And most people don't follow them too closely. Uh, until it's like a special election for something like like um, a proposition on the ballot, but uh, they don't follow state issues too closely. But I think people are starting to see that not much is being done down in Jefferson City. But but when you do talk with them and and, and have that conversation, they do get it, don't they? Oh, they get it. I mean, they 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 get that the roads aren't good. They get that the schools need to be uh, vastly improved. They understand that not, not much is being done with the job situation. Um, being so close to Kansas City, Warrensburg, and Lafayette County, we have a lot of commuters that drive into Kansas City every day and bring their dollars back into this area and spend their dollars. Uh, but a lot of businesses are moving to the Johnson County side of Kansas City, the Johnson County, Kansas side of Kansas City and uh, they're going to move their businesses with them because they're not going to send these business people aren't going to send their children to an unaccredited school district well thank you very much for your time Thanks, talking Michael. with appreciate us. appreciate it all right appreciate it